Hey Libra, welcome to your weekly tarot and oracle forecast for the week ahead, March 4th through March 10th, 2024, roughly, around about there, approximate. Okay, there's something about others wanting to know your recipe, okay, this week. You got the secret sauce. The Angel of Balance card appeared after the pre-shuffle, and I heard the elixir. People admire you because of everything you've been through. You still have this youthful glow, like the Angel of Balance here in this card, to be completely honest. You still have this youthful glow, this youthful soul. You could definitely be <clears throat> one of those people that like kids, as I looked up at 111 on the timer, kids and babies, people, they just watch you, stare at you, smile at you. You're very charismatic, okay? And this week it is being noticed as you having some type of access to this secret sauce. We also had the Three of Wands pop out of the tarot during the pre-shuffle with the Queen of Swords. So I'm going to put these cards back in the deck. We'll pull on, we'll shuffle and pull together on camera. But you're a thought leader. This is like new thought, um, new age leader with the three of wands. Even if you're younger, even if like you're in your 20s, it's like you're more wise than your boss. You know what I mean? That's the energy that I'm picking up for this week. Often imitated, never duplicated, is what the guides just said. You're often imitated, never duplicated. And you're also often underestimated. But you should not be taken lightly. Just because you appear as if you have these angelic or earth angel qualities does not mean you should be undermined or underestimated. And I do believe with the Queen of Swords appearing, people are realizing that. That you should not be underestimated this week. Or ever. Anymore. The Queen of Swords is a thought leader. It's all about be your intelligence, being direct, honest, integrity, being perceptive, a wise and logical counselor, an excellent communicator. Your words this week, your communication is going to be sharp, sharp as the sword. You're not going to be mean. You're just going to be direct. There's a difference. And with the three of wands, this is energy manifested. The arrival of opportunities. Continuous improvement and moving in the right direction. Progress. All right. Let's put those back into the tarot deck. We'll put... The Energy Oracle card back into that deck. I also wanted to show you guys the two cards that presented themselves as I was putting this deck away. I was trying to. Archangel Metatron is around you this week, Libra. 
Okay, for sure. He came out in our angel reading last night. If you haven't checked out that, watch that angel reading that I posted last night, the one before this. Archangel Metatron appeared there. Back again. And we have Goddess Sekhmet. Passion of the Lion Heart. The Archangel Metatron Oracle brings you guidance about the nature of power within you. You are being given the opportunity to change your relationship to power. This may mean letting go of the fear of being powerful. It may seem strange to hold such a fear, yet if we look around the world today, there are many examples of those in powerful positions being abusive or exploitive rather than protective and empowering of those they may be impacted that may be impacted by their expression of power. Yet power itself is an essential component on the spiritual path. Without it, you will lack the energy needed to follow your dreams, take meaningful action, stand up for what is true for you, set your priorities and honor them, establish clear and helpful boundaries with others and become a courageous light shining true, even if others doubt or misunderstand you at times. As you continue to become more comfortable with owning your power, you will learn how to handle yourself in a loving way that is disciplined and strong. You shall become even more willing to admit the aspects of your character that are not constructive or helpful without judging yourself, but while also acknowledging you are powerful enough to do something, to heal an attitude or change a behavior that isn't supporting your soul. You will then increase your power even more because you'll increase your ability to overcome the behaviors that would once have held you back. Passion of the Lion Heart. Something about you needing to step into your power this week, okay, and fully be courageous. Because the lion also speaks of courage. But I was reading the power card. So you, I feel like you have courage here twice. Don't let others down talk your dreams or your plans, okay? Have faith. Have courage. Be strong in your heart. Passion of the Lion Heart. Through this passion, you will dedicate yourself with an intensity and discipline that may surprise you. Passion is love activated. It is energy that moves you from within and empowers you to act in the world in ways you would not otherwise dare to even consider. Passion gives you strength plugs you into the eternal energy of the sacred fire and generates the ability to accomplish tasks you may not have once believed possible. With great passion, there can be great pain. The heart that loves wild and open is also the heart that can feel disappointment and doubt. The empowerment of the lion heart strengthens your heart to recover from any pain through the power of courage, commitment, and bold, loving devotion to what matters most to you. There are those that will be led through life by the cool light of their inner knowing, and those that will be led by their heart, by their dreams and aspirations. Those led by their heart need passionate purpose, a sense of meaningful, motivating desire 
to gain energy and accomplish great things. They have tremendous divine potential because they are less limited by the constraints of the mind. Where the mind may analyze and reflect and choose to opt out of a particular task, the heart will be moved by compassion and engage fully and completely with what needs to be done, no matter if it seems unlikely to succeed. Woo! That heart chakra, that heart power energy, Libra, you're tapping into this, or you have. Be bold, have that daring heart, it's most beautiful. Pulling off what seemed to be even impossible by sheer force of commitment to what it loves most. Message. If your heart is tired, broken, overwhelmed, doubting or suffering from compassion fatigue, that's where you know you still care, but you can't summon the energy to feel anything in that moment. This oracle brings you comfort. Rest, heal, replenish. Your passion has not faded, but you must give yourself the time you need to recover from your remarkable excursions, exertions. Allow your passion to motivate you, not burn you out. Take the time you need. Allow the divine to heal you and know that your shining lion heart shall burn bright with energy again soon. All right, Libra. I wanted you guys to hear those messages. I felt like they were pertinent to this reading. Now, we're going to start with the tarot. Four shuffles to get your energy into the cards. What is the energy for Libra's week ahead? What is the energy around them? We are beginning with the full. You're not afraid. You're not afraid. Trust in the universe, Libra. You are supported. 1313 on the clock. What is the energy around Libra? Oh my gosh, gorgeous. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. <laughs> the Empress. Grandmother Gaia energy. Divine Feminine energy. She has wings made of water, earth angel energy, protector of mother and grandmother Gaia with the seven of wands. So this message is definitely for the empresses that have been under attack. You see all those wands trying to poke at her, but you are in a protected bubble brought to you by the divine is what I just heard the energy around you the empress with the seven of wands this Gaian empress radiates fertile energy positive outcomes and unconditional love this flourishing creative energy is of the earth so bring your dreams 
from the ethereal realms and ground them, share them, birth them. Her bountiful abundance is always available to you, and she reminds you to find her regenerative beauty everywhere. Libra, you are entering a time of profound healing and blessings. And if you are feeling any lack of inspiration or possibilities, seek to heal your physical temple and to nourish your soul by embodying her shining creative essence. Continue to move calmly and gracefully in the direction of that which whispers yes. <clears throat> This card also affirms that you are on the right track. So keep growing, beautiful seer, and work with the nature of your situation instead of against it. Your mantra this week, Libra, I am ready to give birth to my abundantly rich future. And confirmation with the seven of wands at the bottom. This is about grounding and protecting yourself, movement and growth, remaining ahead, self-expression. I am deserving of this success and I will bravely, another courage, another word, bravely, which is the same as very similar to courage. Courage and bravery this week to be yourself, Libra, and to shine bright. You are deserving of the abundance and success and the healing that is coming to you now, that is here now. The Seven of Wands says, I am deserving of this success and I will bravely shine my light into the world. Two more cards. What is the energy around me for this week? The Eight of Cups. Wow. The Eight of Cups to the Nine of Cups. Okay, quick message. I don't even need to read these cards. Listen, Libra. For those of you that know you deserve better in this life okay you deserve a better job you deserve a better place to call your own to call home you deserve um better friendships better relationships better community i don't know it can be anything and everything but honestly you're walking away from anything and everything that does not serve you. And in doing so, in making, turning your back and walking away from any BS, any of it, okay, puts you into the Nine of Cups. You go straight from the Eight of Cups into the Nine of Cups. You will be so ecstatic that you made that choice. Choose yourself. Choose what is best for you and yours, and you will be rewarded for that choice with the Nine of Cups, truly. Some way, somehow. What is the energy around me for this week? One more card. Oh my gosh. <laughs> You will be rewarded, Libra, the Ten of Pentacles, some way, somehow. If you're going through anything, do not lose hope. The Nine of Swords at the bottom. There's been a lot for many of us. There's been a lot of negative energy. You know what's crazy? You know what I didn't hear this morning? The crows, they're gone. 
They were around all last week. So many. So many. <clears throat> I didn't see or hear not one this morning. All that dark magic, all that dark energy that was sent to not all of you watching this reading, but to many of us to bring us down, to depress us, to make, makes us, to make us anxious or lose hope, okay? That one light bird pushed through all that darkness. Spirit pushed through Libra. Told all that dark magic to get gone, go away. Do not come back another day. That one light spirit bird pushed all that darkness out. And for you to reside and come into the Ten of Pentacles. This is the energy available to you this week, Libra. This is the energy around you this week. Let's read the Ten of of pentacles spiritual and material abundance generosity wealth and prosperity building a legacy and see how i just mentioned something about community you finding your soul tribe and community and here we have community Oh, baby, this is the big one. All the love, abundance, and joy that you can muster in your heart, it's coming your way and it's coming fast. It's time to prepare for its inevitable arrival and to commit to your long-term success. This energy is so big, in fact, that you should be prepared to spread some of it around generously. Bring an abundance of positive energy into your life and watch everything shift. Expect the arrival of success, happiness, and an upbeat and loving community as avenues widen and the right connections click into place. Remember that perceptions change. You are one small move away from seeing the bigger picture and from unearthing a legacy of pentacles that is already yours. You deserve this success and love. Take the pleasures of life, embody a state of consciousness that says, yes, I am worthy of all of this success. Your mantra, I am successful and I share my wealth with those I love. The ultimate card, Libra. And Spirit is confirming you are worthy. Don't forget it. Your first card out was the Empress. The Empress. The one and only. That's you, Libra. The darkness has been pushed away. You have pushed through something or you are pushing through it this week. That's so wild because I wanted to take a picture, but sometimes you just can't pull over and take the picture. So you just take a mental picture and just store it in your mind's eye. Well, that happened this morning. Um, I looked at the sky and the sun. It was about 30 minutes after the sun had risen. It began to rise, rose, whatever. And um, there were two, it looked like angel wings. I've never seen the clouds around the sun like this before. There were two wings around the sun. It looked like a sun angel. I, I'd never seen the clouds around the sun like that before. A sun angel. 
is the best way I can describe it. Like a true angel of the light. Master number 44 here, Libra. Let's get a few energy oracle cards before we get a message from the planets. Let's keep going. We've got 44 woman holding a heart with journey at the bottom. To me, this is honestly more loving empress energy or even like a queen of cups, a divine feminine who truly lives from their heart. Oh my gosh, as I just spoke of the sun, the solar plexus. As I just spoke of the sun, this is the third chakra, the solar plexus. Okay, we have attachment at the bottom. Quick message for some of us. There has been some negative entity attachments that have tried to connect and latch onto your solar plexus chakra. There's a few different ways, quite a few different ways to get the remove these attachments, okay? Some of you need to um, research about that, how to remove energy attachments from your chakras and specifically research about your solar plexus. They know you're a true angel for the light. You see that? They know. That's confirmation. Yin and yang. Another master number, 22. So we have 44, 37, and 22. Could be significant numbers. Yin and yang with strategy at the bottom. Yin and yang to me is keeping your feminine and your masculine energy balanced within yourself. Just staying balanced as a whole. Mind, body, soul. And make sure you're sticking with the plan. Whatever you have come up with, okay, your plan, your strategy, the ideas were given to you by the divine, by the angels. Stick with that plan, Libra. 2828, I just saw on the clock. Let's get a message from the planets, and then we'll see some zodiac signs that may be of significance this week. That's wild. I just mentioned that angel, sun angel that I saw. The sun angel. And then we have the sun, the solar angel that came out. That's wild. Thank you, Spirit, for all the confirmation. Thank you, Holy Spirit. What's the message from the planets for Libra this week? Venus. Hey, girl. Hey. <laughs> Venus what well, goes with Venus it's our planet Libra love art beauty all the finer things in life. Oh, with Jupiter, though. The 
the biggest planet, Big Daddy Jupiter, the planet of good luck and expansion? Oh, Libra. Oh, Venus and Jupiter. Let's see what this means. Be generous with your affections and lavish with your love. Pour forth your bounty of beauty to the world. Just be you, Libra. Continue to be, listen, I went to a show. I went, I want to tell you guys this. I wasn't for sure if I was going to talk about it, but I just want to mention it because it's coming up at the very end of our reading really quick, okay? I went to a play in Cincinnati over the weekend, and it was for Dracula. So, of course, I dressed up. I dressed up and there of course were some other artsy people there dressed up as well. Um, I felt really good about myself and what I was wearing. Someone that I was with at first thought Oh, I don't that this it's just you're doing too much. It's gonna draw attention to us. I don't like to draw attention to us. But I didn't let it hurt. I didn't let that hurt my feelings because I could have let that be like, oh my gosh, well, I can't change now. We're already in the car. We're already on our way. I could have let that bring me down. I could have let that make me really insecure then and pretty much ruined the whole night, but I did not. I stepped into my power. I, I defended my decision. It's not like I was wearing something out of this world crazy. I posted on, you guys saw what I was wearing. I posted it on a video short. I posted it on my Instagram. It was Dracula at the playhouse in a big city in Cincinnati like this if I'm gonna dress up which I don't ever get a chance to hardly I'm gonna do it then so anyways I'm so glad I did once I got there you know I'm not to toot toot Libra but we're Venus we're Venusian definitely one of the hottest women there okay I was giving that empress energy I can't help it we can't help it Libra okay but there was such a kind lady she complimented me twice on my outfit twice she was like I love how you dressed up for Dracula I love your outfit I love it I was like thank you that was like an earth angel coming in and being like it's okay to be you please be you in a world that is full of people that just want to be like somebody else or that aren't happy with themselves. You know what I mean? So I just wanted to confirm that, okay? Confirm the message to continue to be you as, as long as you're not hurting anybody, okay? I wasn't stealing anybody's man. You know what I mean? Like, I wasn't planning on stealing anybody's man or anything like that. I just wanted to dress up, feel good, enjoy the show. And that's what happened, and that's how it went. Very cool, cool night. All right, we have an Aries of significance this week, Libra. Or a Scorpio. Let's get one more sign. And the person who said that, I don't want to put them on blast, but they they realized after the fact, like, life is short. It is so not that serious. 
you know? Virgo, okay? So Aries, Scorpio, and Virgo, Libra. I truly hope you guys found messages in this weekly reading. I will read you later. Chat soon. Thank you, thank you, thank you for all your support. Stay balanced. Stay blessed. Peace, you guys.